Shout out to all of you guys who are using my code. It's because of you that Roger can stand to put up with me and fly me out here to go to hockey games. It's a true story. True story. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It is vlog every day till Christmas, day 10. We've made it a full 10 days now and I am totally not running out of content at all. I have lots of content coming, right Des? Yeah. Yeah, so much content. So I had a couple of those videos already scheduled, obviously the ones that I have filmed before I came out here to Las Vegas, like Sunday Gun Day. So when I have videos like that, I can actually take a day off. So Sunday was technically my day off. We ended up going to a Knights game. Oh, but the night before that, we went to XS and hung out with the Chainsmokers. So that was very cool. Alex and Drew, they were very, very cool dudes. And chances are we will probably be seeing them again next time I come out here. Before we went out to the range on Monday, we stopped by Ventura Munitions and I ran into a subscriber. His name was Michael and he had delivered this to the gun shop like a long time ago and I just never got a chance to go in there and pick it up obviously. So Michael, it was very cool meeting you and chatting about guns and I just want to say thank you for the awesome Jägermeister shot glasses. I'm going to put these to use right now, not with the Jäger, but with Strike Force. A little bit of Strike Force, a little bit of Smart Water. You want one, Des? No, thank you. You won't drink Strike Force, but you'll drink coffee with butter in it? I don't drink that on a regular basis, so I just tried it and thought it was disgusting. And then, and then tried it but again. But then you tried it again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still not good, it's right? It's still disgusting. <laughs> just needed to confirm, you know? Yeah, confirmations are needed in situations like that. So here is to you, Michael. Thank you for the shot glasses. Ooh, that is concentrated sour. Let's see what's going on in the shop today. What's up, dog? What up, man? Working on stuff. It's going to 911 strong. Shout out. Since I'm only gonna be here for the next couple of days, I might as well shout out people who have their custom orders on deck, like Mark from Greenwood, South Carolina, Justin from Moore, Oklahoma, Mervin from Durham, North Carolina, David from Bear, Delaware. There's a lot of people using my code. Steven from Holland, Michigan. Michael from Zeeland, Michigan. Shout out to all of you guys who are using my code. It's because of you that Roger can stand to put up with me and fly me out here to go to hockey games. It's a true story. True story. One other thing that I forgot to mention before this impromptu trip is that I turned off almost everything in my store. So if you guys went to pick up merch, I really appreciate it. But as of right now, the only thing that is available are shirts and hoodies and three quarter sleeves and everything that you see on the site. Anything that is listed that says coming soon, including my hats and all of the patches and everything, as long as it does not say sold out, I will turn that back on Wednesday because I'm gonna be flying back home Wednesday. The reason I do that is because I'm the only one who is there to fill the orders. So I don't want you guys to place an order and then be like, where the hell is it after two weeks of me not being there? Alan's gonna stay longer, but he realized there's no more hockey games until the 23rd, so he's like, I'm out. Yeah, I'm good luck though because the Knights won both games that we went to while I'm out here. The Knights were hung over yesterday too. Yeah, <laughs> the Knights were partying with us, but they came back in the end, so that was good. So yeah, to anyone who has placed an order or is wanting to place an order, I appreciate your support and I will be back there to ship your orders as soon as possible. But for now, we're shipping these orders. <laughs> So here are some answers to the questions that you left on yesterday's video. I had a lot of people asking about what rifles we were shooting, what calibers, this and that. For the most part, I was running this pistol that Roger put together. This is a 10 and a half inch American Defense U. American Defense. American Defense and Action. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of letters and numbers. American Defense Manufacturing UIC Mod 2. UIC Mod 2. So medium UIC Mod 2. There you go. So ambidextrous, meaning that the bolt catch and everything can be used from both sides. Mag button is also on the opposite side as well. Looks like he has a Radian Talon selector in here. This thing is super smooth. I saw some questions saying, are you actually putting the gun on safe when you are running? Yes, if you watch the video very closely, in between different stations, I'll run up, shoot, put it back on safe and then keep moving. It's got a surefire light on the front here with a pressure switch on the top. Magpul MBUS Pro sights, looks like a BCM charging handle. Trijicon MRO with their 
rubber sleeve thing on top. You know what mount this is for the Trigicon? Leap. It's a Leap Scalar Works mount. I would like to have this cover for my MRO, but this thing is like $50 and it doesn't come with it, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, yeah, and then a PDW brace, which is the same on my Atom Smasher, and a Lunar Concept sling, black multicam, and orange. Roger just said that he is turning this into an SBR, so this will be coming off eventually. And yeah, once he gets that form back, this thing will be living another whole life. Hopefully that answered some of your questions. I do have another build which is somewhat similar to this with the ambi controls coming very soon. So I'm excited to actually get out and shoot that thing and then bring you guys a full dedicated Sunday gun day on that build. And then here is the other one that I was shooting for a little bit in the video. What is the name of this one? Cause I don't even want to try to say that. It's a 10 and a half inch uh, Aero Precision M4E1. It's, if you're gonna go with the forged lower, it's the best way to get all of the benefits of a billet lower, like a flared magwell, built-in uh, enhanced trigger guard, that way you can get gloves and stuff going on. That's one thing, looking at this thing from a distance, I would not assume that it is forged. I would say that it was billet, but yeah, once up close you can tell, but you're still getting all of the really nice features of That's an actual billet. Price. How much is it? That right now, they're, I think they're gonna sell for like 69 bucks. 69 bucks for the lower. For the lower? Yeah, yeah that, that's very good. Uh, same thing on this, he's running the Radian Talon Safety Selector. This looks like a Radian Raptor charging handle. Yes it is. Raptor SD Defiance flip up sights. What are those? I've never seen those before. So those are actually made by Chris Spector. Chris USA? Chris Spector, but those seem nice. EOTech on top of there. I'm not a big EOTech guy. And then, again, a Lunar Concept Sling. Streamlight Protac on the side and a Cloud Defense mounting system with the Streamlight pressure switch on top. Oh, also, this is a folder. This is the Law Tactical folder. I have not done a build with one of these yet. I don't know if I will yet or not. And this is the SBA, what is this, SBA3? Cool. That's it. Also, other parts on here that I forgot to mention, Geisley, I'm a big fan of Geisley. I'm friends with some of the guys out there. They are in Pennsylvania, so somewhat local to me, and I use a lot of their stuff in a lot of my builds. You got the buffer and spring in here, the single stage precision trigger, and then up front the super modular rail, all coming from Geisley. If you guys haven't checked out the stuff that they make, super high quality parts, I definitely recommend it. It is almost nine o'clock now, and we're pretty much done for the day. I didn't get to film a whole lot because I did a lot of busy work. It was a pretty typical Monday for myself. A lot of the stuff that you guys see is just the fun highlight parts of my life, but today was a lot of phone calls and emails and getting things set up to do more cooler stuff in the future. Now, typically, if I was at home, I would be going to sleep or getting ready for whatever I'm doing tomorrow before I go to sleep. But since we are in Las Vegas, of course, we gotta go and do something Thing. So we're going to a concert. We're going to see the Atari's play somewhere in town. Judging by the age demographic on my channel, chances are you guys know who the Atari's are. So I will check back tomorrow and let you guys know how that actually was. I apologize for the short video. I don't know how people do this vlog every single day type of thing, especially when your life just gets in the way. You're not always doing crazy, fun, exciting, informative stuff, but it is what it is. So if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and as of right now, every day up until Christmas. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you tomorrow.